<laughs> hey fishing friends JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing we're doing a little snook fishing yeah even though we have red tide man I haven't been fishing since red tide hit this is crazy so here I am already hit one spot and they ran me out they said it closed at 11 o'clock so I'm making a long walk to this bridge see if we can't get on a snook I got my PC fin Alios 300 with my uh yeah, my musky seven and a half foot long graphite rod. So let's get on it. Big old spool tech on there, baby. Snook on, fish on, fish on. Fish on. That's a good one. We got a good one, boys. Good fish. Surprised the heck out of me. Man, that is a good one. First fish on my my PC Finalios reel. My bait caster set up. 30 30 inch snook maybe good one mm, he's just sitting there now You're done. Hey, he's got the thing wrapped under his gill cover. There we go. Oh, yeah. Good snook. Internet here. Look at that. First snook on the Alios. There we go. Gotcha, big boy. Oop. Man, that is a good one, guys. Nice catch, JC. Way to go, bro. Way to go. That's a good one. Big old fat snook. Oh, that spool tech. There we go. Real quick, then put him up here on the net. This net's 36 inches, so he's touching there. And he's about six inches from the edge of the net. Nice. Good deal. Big old snooky. <laughs> Get this guy back in the water. It's a bit of a jump, but we should be able to. Nice. Thanks for the catch, big guy. Hey, 
hammered that spool tech. I was not expecting that. Where I casted, I was just throwing that bait caster way out there. He was hanging out off a, right on the edge of a sandbar. When I was reeling him in, I noticed a bunch of bait jumped. Ready to go, big guy. Here he goes. See ya. See ya, see ya. Thanks for the catch. Let's see if we can get up here. Nice. I love it, man. I love it. Got my rod over here. Heck yeah. Catch some big old snook in the red tide. Fishing an area tonight. Red tide doesn't really come this far up in the intercoastal waterway usually. It's a long way from the inlet. Oh, baby. Yeah. Now that dude on my brand new Alios bait casting reel. My first snook, man. 30 incher. So wait. Heck yeah. 35 pound test braid, 80 pound test leader, and a big old honking spool tick. Yeah. Nice. Let's get back on it. I gotta get the spool tick wound back up. Amazes me. There's three people up on the bridge. It's 1.30 in the morning on a Wednesday night. I thought I was the only crazy person to be out here this late. Apparently not. Oh my gosh, that felt so good. I love it, man. I love it. Yeah, that's that's the that's the magic right there. That's the nine inch spool tech. Woohoo! Alright, so I've been casting here for a while. Here's the problem with night snook fishing. It's always been the problem for me when I'm filming is I like to turn on the lights. When I get hooked up with a fish, I turn on the lights because there's no sense in making a video catching fish when it's pitch black, right? You can't see anything. So <laughs> I always turn the lights on. Well, what happens when I'm shied by headlight in the water and I'm following the snook around? I mean, where I caught that snook over there, there's probably other snook laying in there, but I spooked them all out of there because I was running the lights. So I always have to like... I catch a fish in one spot and then I have to move to a different spot to try and catch one in a different place. But anyway, I moved here, over here on this other side. I haven't had any hits, but there's a bunch of bait in the water. I Man, there's there's fish feeding out here. I just can't find a big one on the bottom. I got a smaller spool stack tech, but I, hey, I caught a 30 inch snook on the one that I've got on here, so I'm not gonna switch it. And I haven't backlashed yet. <laughs> I got the bait caster set perfect. I'm loving the new rig, man. All right, let's get on it. It is two o'clock in the morning. Put on this smaller spool tech here. Oh look, I don't have to cut my line, I forgot. Put on one of those angler power clips. I rigged this thing up whenever I got the reel. That was a long time ago. Let's see if we can get this thing off of here. See how easy this is. Oh look at that, came right off. I need to get some of these that are a little bit bigger though. There we go. Man, that was that was a quick switch right there. <laughs> nice. I like it. I like it. So let's throw this guy right here. See if we can make something happen. I've been throwing this for about 20 minutes. No hits on the smaller spool tech. So we're going to go up on the bridge now. But I'm going to switch it up. Put a two ounce jig on. Some jigs that 10K sent me. This is my... I caught my PB snook on that color right there, pink with the blue tail, two ounce. Actually, I caught my PB snook on this bridge, 42 inches. You know what? I say it's my PB snook, but I have caught some really big snook that I didn't measure. Fishing out on the beach, that one that I caught in Stewart, Florida was giant too. But anyway, I've caught quite a few of them in the 40 inch class. I do know that, but yeah, let's go up on the bridge, throw this guy. This, uh, musky rod seven and a half foot i got it from bass pro quite a while ago it's all graphite but it's got a little hook keeper here uh, i just got hung up on something snap crackle pop 80 pound test andy andy andy's the brandy tie me a good fg knot here take about three minutes i'm not in a hurry 
I've been fishing really hard, so take my time. If you guys don't know how to tie an FG knot, I would put a link in the description area to my how to tie an FG knot the easy way. Let's see if we can get another 10K jig out here. Oh yeah, I'll throw the Skittles. That's another one of my favorite colors right there. He ties a nice jig. Look at look at that flare on that jig. 10k jigs. <laughs> we need to catch a snook. He sent me a bunch of jigs. Looking good. Tie this jig on with a canoe man loop knot. That's looking good. Check it, double check it, triple check it. We good. Did you get your rad reeling fishing merch yet? Catch more fish guaranteed. I'm gonna show you some clips here of catching some snook on the beach before red tide. But before I do that, you guys, I wanna talk about the PC Fan Alios 300 reel, my first time out, eight fish catching machine. Now, moving forward, we all know that time will really tell how this reel is gonna hold up. Like I said, I found nice reviews on the internet. People have been fishing with this for over a year um, and still love the reel. I got home at 4.30 this morning. I ordered a power handle. I found a power handle. The actual power handle that goes with the reel, um, $14, that includes shipping. So yeah, I got out there and throwing these two and three ounce baits in this handle, it just, it just feels small. Throwing these heavy baits, I think a power handle will feel a lot smoother, but I, I mean, it's smooth. I caught a fish on it and everything, but I, I think the power handle is gonna serve me better throwing these really heavy baits. But I will let you know how that goes. But I've got this paired up with a seven and a half foot long graphite, a musky rod that I purchased from Bass Pro several years ago. I love this rod. It is a fish catching machine. So anyway, nothing bad to say. The magnetic braking system works great on this. The tension adjustment, I did not backlash at all. I fished out there for about three and a half hours casting like crazy. So yeah, buddy, I'm liking it, you guys. I'm really liking it. But like I said, time's gonna tell. So let's release clips of catching some snook on the beach before red tide. Cheesy peasy man, I made a rookie mistake. Maybe not. The wind is blowing 14 to 18 miles an hour and I'm gonna go beach fishing for snook. And the wind is blowing from offshore right into inshore, so. But here's the thing, guys. I always tell you that snook like it when it's windy. So we're about to find out <laughs> if that's true or not. We are about to get smacked head on with that thunderstorm. I might have to wait a while. All right, well, I sat in the car for about an hour. The one storm passed, it barely rained. Now there's another little one kind of behind it, but we're gonna give it a shot again here. <laughs> I, I got the crazy snook fever, man. I'm getting back on it. It's been about a week since I caught that one out here at night. It's a pretty good one. And I've seen some big ones out here. But you know, this is the time of the year when the snooks start coming out to the inlets and the beaches to spawn. So we're going to see if we can't get on some snookies today. That is the plan, man. So I got 4,000 size reels. I got a Yozuri on here and I got a Fluke. I'm probably going to have to change that. But woohoo! Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right, we're going to start out with a Yozuri. We got little pods of bait right here. We got seagulls diving over here. And we got seaweed in the water. Got a snook right there, cruising right in front of me. Right there. There he is, there he is. That's a good one, that's a good one. That's a good one. He doesn't know he's hooked yet. Two of them, he's got another one with him. Got 
Same on the Ozuri. Wasn't fighting too hard when he started out, but he's kicking pretty good now. Not a bad fish. Not a bad fish at all. Man, this guy is hooked really good. He is hooked really good. All right, there we go. Woohoo, baby! Got a nice one. All right, I got my needle nose pliers now. Let's see if we can get another one. Woohoo! Yeah, my leader's not frayed. We're good to go. Quick update. I've been out here two hours. One snook. I haven't even had any hits, man. So I mentioned this before. I bring my angle cooler out here. It works out really good. I'm not keeping fish, but I can put my drinks in here. I got my tackle box, my extra GoPro batteries, my phone. And then I can put my rods in the rod holders so they don't get all sandy, right? So. All right, let me get re-rigged here. All right, so it's seven o'clock. I got about two hours. So it's been about another hour. I haven't had any hits, but I just had three fish follow over there. So maybe the snook are coming in closer to the shore. The sun is really starting to go down here, but it looks like the snook are starting to move in. So X marks the spot over there. Oh, 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 I think I just had a good hit. There he is, there he is. It's the sunset bite. It's the sunset bite. That's a good one. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Look at that. Sunset bite, guys. He's caught up in the current. He's fighting hard because he's in the current. He's not all that big. Another one about 26 inches. Uh, he's kind of hooked funky too. All right, we got another one. Sunset bite is on. <laughs> All right, it's been a grind, but we got another one. Look at that beautiful Florida sunset, baby. Let's get back on them. I'm gonna get over here and find my X. X marks the spot. That's right where I caught this snook, straight out from the X. Yeah. 